Hey everybody, Lon Gold here, comedian, actor, pro-Semite. You know, when I think of Passover, I think of the three M's, matza, maror, and Mexico. You know, those Pesach programs people go to, because what better way to recreate our exodus from Egypt than a spa in Cancun? But this year, this year, I've been thinking about the three P's, pandemic, plague, Pfizer. I didn't spell like that, they did. But the hope, the hope is that Pfizer and the others will take us out of this pandemic and end this plague. So, in honor of the year of the plague coming to an end, finally, here are the 10 plagues as told by 10 celebrities. Happy Pesach! What do they want me to do? Huh? Huh? 10 plagues? Just the first one? Blood. I was like, was that all right? Did I do good? Did I do good? Huh? Oh, and then there were frogs. Frogs here, frogs there, frogs everywhere. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, ribbit. You know, you look at the ten plagues, and everybody talks about death of the firstborn like that's the bad one, and it's a horrible one, a terrible thing, it's a total disaster, but to me, it's lice. I mean, I love Eric. Who is it? Don Jr. I just know it's not a vodka. I love them all, but not as much as my perfect hair, okay? You know who doesn't have lice? Joe Biden, because he's got fake hair. It's totally... Um, and then you have these wild animals, or as I like to call them, the press, um, paparazzi, those in the media that have a complete and utter disregard for uh, one's personal space or family privacy. Um, wait, you're not taping this, are you? Pestilence. See, I told you I could pronounce words. Um, Rachel? It's a boil, not a cold sore. We were on a break. You know, and then there's hail and, and mudslides and, and all of these things. You know, in California, we have four of the ten plagues. You know, we have fires and mudslides and earthquakes and Gavin Newsom. Hey, Gavin Newsom, let your people go to Texas. You know, to an outdoor restaurant or any of these places, you know, all these things. Oh man, too many locusts. It's crazy, right? Yeah. I don't like darkness. It's much too dark. But on the bright side, when darkness falls and Master Wayne heeds his call, I then have Wayne Manor all to myself. And there's nothing more precious to me than my bubble bath. <sighs> you know... The death of the firstborn, it's a very big one. Very big, very, very big. But the alternative, you know, you gotta put lamb's blood on your doorposts, and I don't wanna attract mosquitoes, you know. So, looks like the boys gotta go.